Hello dear students. Today we will be starting a new English chapter. Who did Patrick's homework? So, who did Patrick's homework? Did he do it himself? Did someone else do it for him? Or did he not do it at all? Well, we will find out as we read the story together. This chapter tells the story of a schoolboy named Patrick who hates homework. But eventually, he scores good grades in his class and also learns other good habits. Now that we have an idea about Patrick, let's understand the story together and see who did Patrick's homework. Patrick was just like any other boy who loved playing outdoor games like basketball, hockey, and Nintendo. Although he was a good player, he lacked interest in his studies and often neglected his homework. This led to a warning from his teacher. One day, Patrick saw his cat playing with a doll, but upon closer inspection, he realized it was a tiny man elf who was scared of the cat and needed help. The elf promised to grant Patrick a wish in return for saving him. Patrick wished for the elf to do his homework for a semester, but soon realized the elf didn't know much about subjects like maths and history. So, Patrick agreed to help the elf and spend time reading and discussing the subjects with him. After 35 days, the semester was over and the elf disappeared. To everyone's surprise, Patrick had improved greatly and received grades of A in all subjects. Although Patrick thought it was the elf who helped him, it was actually his own hard work that resulted in his success. So students, what do we get to learn from the story? The story of Patrick demonstrates the power of hard work and self-reliance in achieving success. It is revealed that the elf was merely a product of Patrick's imagination and that his improvement was the result of his own efforts. This resolves the question who did Patrick's homework and emphasizes the importance of taking responsibility for one's own growth.